All right, everybody, we are getting ready to get on Highway 4 here, headed into downtown Orlando for today's Moto Vlog. Uh, Nicole's getting some ink work done, and uh, yeah, we're off of 414 right now here in Maitland. I uh, had to stop and get some gas, and now we're ready to go, so let's do it. Watch out for people. When you're in gas stations, you really got to be careful. Way down here to get out. Not a problem. Hey, it looks like my ram. Looks just like it. All right, we're gonna go down and do a U-turn to get out of here. Is the only way it's gonna be done. Ain't nobody coming from that way. And we'll make a U-turn right here, wherever it's safe. After we give way to these guys. Right after this guy, it's ours. And slow speed turn this way. Oh, that sounded good. That one sounded real nice. I put my visor down. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic Tuesday. Looking forward to making another moto vlog. We're gonna be getting on Highway 4 going downtown in Orlando, which is like one of the worst areas to do it. I'll tell you that right now. Make sure we're good to go here. behind me on her bike, her hog, <laughs> and there's usually some road construction up here, so we'll see if that is the case, uh, doesn't seem too bad, because usually after this intersection you have to get over one more lane, and then it's always closed, which is interesting, it's a beautiful day, not too hot today not too hot at all and it's a nice bright sunny day so i'm just wearing my leathers I'm not wearing my other stuff at all I usually wear my uh fluorescence uh i did for the the first time when i was a you know a beginner rider um i still have it still use it uh, i just use those whatever it's overcast or if it's in the evening time or whenever i need to be visible um, but without it, it has all the armor on there, which is kind of nice too. I just kind of switch it up, you know, but, uh, either way, that is a reason why I don't have it on. And I didn't take it to uh, Daytona either cause it's bulky and I didn't have a lot of room to carry it around the grounds of Daytona. But a lot of you guys enjoyed the moto vlog I did with Steve-O and I'm glad that you did because that's why we're making another one. We'll see if this lane ends or not today. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Just a fucking way she goes. All right, going over this way, buddy. There's a light up here. You gotta watch out for these assholes. And then we get to get on I-4, which is so much fun. But we're only going down it a little bit. We're going to Princeton Street. It's funny where this uh, tattoo shop is, is actually, uh, it's funny because I call it Shipa Town, like you, you know, in South Park. It reminds me of that. It's got like a Whole Foods there and some kind of uppity restaurant feel there, which is funny. You'll see it when we go down there. But it's a beautiful area too. It's like where the Science Center is and all of that. Boy, getting on the highway is always a mess. And look at this guy, like, you just, they just mosey over, they don't care. But I'm still gonna keep my following distance on this guy. I don't trust a big, huge truck in front of me, that's for certain. I'm probably gonna ride here for right now. Every time I've been on the four through this area, uh, this is where you see the worst of the highway. Like, the highway itself is in bad shape, but even more so, You'll see like transmission fluid, oil, everything. That's why you don't want to ride in the middle, of course. I'm gonna increase my following just a little bit more with this guy because this is a big truck and these people are just gonna do this kind of shit right here. 
this without a cross lanes. You know, I'm not really sure about uh, Florida law and the, the solid lines, but you're not supposed to cross solid lines ever, even in road construction. You're, you're not supposed to, or not supposed to cross them, but it's also marks a no passing zone, essentially. So there's that too. Super Doppler for Channel 2. And Lee Road, if you're uh, a Orlando resident, you know where we're at right now. We're, we're basically south, but it's called going west on the 4. Or Highway 4. I don't know why I say the a lot. I think the reason why I say the a lot is because of uh, American Truck Simulator and driving in California as long as I did. Because in California, they're like, you take the 405, or you take the 5, or you take the 2, or the whatever, but I'm from the Midwest and we always call it a highway, so it's just something that's always popped over for the longest time. I'm watching this big truck here. Yeah. But whenever you ride down here, man, just gotta keep your head on it straight, that's for certain. It, it can go south in a hurry. It really can. Even when we're driving around, you know, even when I'm in the Ram, it's just crazy. Absolutely crazy. Winter Park. I don't not like not being able to see around this guy. I'm gonna increase a little bit. There we go, now I can see. Yeah, we're going to Princeton Street, which is actually the next one for us. Expect delays, they say. Nightly lane closures. That's another beautiful sunny day in Florida, though. I'll tell you that. It's been nice getting back into X-Plane. It really has been. Uh, I've been wanting to fly the 767 a lot. Okay, Nicole's going to take the lead. Or not. our street is actually coming up here pretty darn soon. So we're going to get over one. Now there's a car there and they don't seem to want to let me over. Of course they don't. That's the courtesy you get down here on Highway 4. <laughs> it really is. ahead of us. I'm riding just left of this crack. That's a mean looking crack. I don't know what this dude's doing. I mean, he has to get on the highway. What are you going to do? You must, you must. Oh, a nice Bentley. That orange one. That's cool. That's really cool, actually. I'm going to put our blinker on a little early here. Looks like blue car is just coming on over as well, which is fine. Here's our exit. And we'll make a left down here. Sometimes there's some homeless people peddling for cash down here. Yep, and there definitely is today. I don't ever have any cash on me, I always feel bad. It's like, nope, don't have any cash. <laughs> Wait here for area supervisor. It says hungry, pregnant. Well, there you go. I don't, uh, don't have any cash on me to give her. I have like maybe a coin or two in my pocket, but I don't know. Every time I come down here, I don't usually end up giving them, giving them something if I have it. I mean, if you're if you're out here on the streets and you're begging for cash, man, you got to be in a pretty low spot. You got to be feeling pretty bad. Man, they're popping one of those suckers in. What are you doing, man? Besides going extremely slow through that intersection, holy hell! This is a 
one of those cases of somebody just on their phone or something just being stupid. This is always an interesting 7-Eleven up here. It's like really, like, all the 7-Elevens down here downtown are like that. They're covered like that, which is interesting. I can't stand when they do that. These guys just creep to the lines. Or they'll stay way back and then they'll pull forward because they were on their phone. That happens a lot too. Everybody's kind of just freaking out here. Princeton Warehouse. Rough crossing, yep, railroad tracks. It is kind of a doozy too. Woo! We'll get over a lane here. In just a second. Oh, of course this guy's going that way too. Orlando Science Center, there it is. Above and beyond. Boy, these people are driving. Oh, that's a big, big pothole there. Damn, son, it's in terrible condition. What are they doing up there? I don't even know. I don't even know. But yep, there's uh, that, and then they have an art park up here on the right. You might be able to see a little bit of that. I'm not certain. But uh, getting back to talking about X-Plane stuff, yeah, I'm going to be uh, going to be learning the 767, or I mean, I already know how to you know drive the 767. That's not a to fly it. My God, I'm I can't talk with this asshole in front of me. Just I mean, doing 10 miles an hour today. What in the shit are you doing, man? Absolute idiot. And it sucks whenever you're like riding behind him because you know you're just riding that friction zone out the whole time. You're like, come on, dude. But that big ass truck up there isn't helping anything, that's for certain. And this is a road called Mills. Let me take Mills up where we're going today. There's a restaurant up here we've actually frequented a couple times. It's, uh, it's not bad at all. I, I get the steak there and it's actually really good. Come on, you are killing me today, dude. I'm getting around this dipshit. I can't do it anymore. Oh, now you went over. Go, you, this guy's a fucking asshole. Idiot. Absolute idiot, man. They just don't, they don't pay attention to what they're doing. At all. They stupid like that down here, man. You gotta... I don't understand what he was doing. I really don't. Up here on the right is uh, the Firebirds restaurant that I was talking about. This is the little area I call Sheep Pot Town. You can go. She knows where she's going, so I'm gonna have her lead us the way to the... To the tattoo parlor. We have to park in the back, so. It's my first time coming down here to the tattoo shop. And she knows it a lot more than I do, that's for certain. But it's been a fun, different, uh, different mode of vlog today. Taking you downtown and dealing with idiots, as per usual. And that's the usual thing you deal with when you come down here. Orchids and bonsai. Oh, I love bonsai plants or trees. Bonsai trees. Like Karate Kid. Bonsai trees. I do like them a lot. If only I had brought my uh, backpack, I'd probably pick one up. I know, that's kind of mean to do that to a plant, though, don't you think? I think it is. I think this is the tattoo shop up here on the right. I'm getting close. I'm 
definitely getting close. Art and addictions tattoo, that's not where we're going. I believe we're going to Ascension Tattoo is the name of the place. And a lot of people are like, oh, you gotta go get your gotta go get your tattoo then. <laughs> yeah, I don't tend to do that. I have a pretty big uh, needle phobia, but I don't know, it's just not really for me. Get right back, here we go. All the way to the back. And we'll park in the gravel. All right, well folks, that was a lot of fun. Got to see that idiot on the, on the road. Granted, I think I got a little impatient with him for sure. That was kind of on me, but guy was a moron. Is that idiot in that truck that whole time? Just idiot. I said, well, maybe I was a little impatient for sure, but I just I was just getting tired of riding behind him. Well, that's gonna do it for the uh, the old motor vlog. We made it where we were going.